New girl jive bad, I think she from Venice Shawty let her touch my racks like she play tennis She wanna be with me cause she know I'm winning I flex so much she thought I worked at LA Fitness If she ain't bought her paper then she gotta go Cause I ain't bout to run with no broke hoe Her last nigga broke, I heard shawty was green my niggas toe and kick us like a special team Patiently waiting for my squad to make it Ain't looking for givers, always been the taker Don't leave your girl around me cause I'm quick to take her Won't sink in the ocean, let go of the anchor You niggas all talk like a sports anchor I'm bringing the pain like a sprained ankle Let my life a movie look from the right angle And try and free all of my niggas like Django Cook up a rap that'll have you addicted Be blessed with my presence cause I'm so gifted Brian got gas that make you feel lifted These rappers is actors, they whole life is scripted I ain't a thug but don't get it twisted Try and do me Boy, that's a demission Cause I got some goons that play it so wicked And they'll turn you into a description They screaming no murder but snitching like Edmonds They funny like Kevin and blunt with their weapons But that ain't my business cause I'm just a witness I'm climbing the ranks like Mount Olympus No more free features cause y'all had y'all chance Back when I started y'all thought I was trash Now I kill shit and I don't wear a mask So people will know and won't have to ask Now this Patterson Dorm here with a young nigga You let them know your name, let them know the tapes out Let them know your Instagram Give them a the number yeah, uh, what's up, man? It's Jose Tony. I got two mixtapes out, both on Spinrilla. First one called Trap of the Door. That did over 30,000 views. That was my first mixtape. I really didn't expect that. Then I dropped Paul Bear, which was me freestyling on beats. And that really got great feedback from people. I never. Oh, I don't he was even killing know. the beat like the, like the, like yeah, the Coco. Yeah, that, that's what that was on. Paul Bear. You killing yeah, them in the Yeah, music. it had a message. Because okay. I tried to send a message in. You know, I'm not no uh, uh, street nigga type of thing, so I'm trying to send a different vibe. So okay. people tell me all the time, you sound way different. They got their parents listening to it and okay. all that type of stuff. So I'm just trying to portray a, a positive picture instead of a negative one. For sure, for sure, man. Hey, let them know, it's a lot of young ladies. You just graduated from Wise. How do you go to high school, you know? You said you weren't really good at sports, so your sport was rap. I mean, how, how'd you go to high school, stay in the school, uh, studio to drop two tapes? What's the process of being a young nigga rapping? Well, at first I didn't really take it serious, so I wasn't really grinding like I should have been. Okay. So I was I wasn't really focused on it. But then going into my twelfth grade year, that's when I said, okay, if I really want to do this, I gotta give them my all. So I started sacrificing, and I just focused on it in school because I'm not too big on school. I'm not. That's why I'm not actually not going to college. But mm -hmm. I feel as though I, you gotta have another plan. Okay. So what I did was start focusing on my rapping. I started going to the studio more. I just start doing what I have to do to make progress. For sure. For sure. How is it in high school is rapping? Is rapping a sport? Do they, you know, do the girls fuck with y'all the same way they fuck with the football, basketball players? How was rap transition, you know, to, to being a young nigga? I mean, back in my days, it, it wasn't too many people rapping. I mean, necess not necessarily because when you know when you coming up, mm -hmm. they don't really fuck with you right then. Okay. So a lot of the girls, they just they might they might say they fuck with you, or they just might even laugh you off. Mm -hmm. So they don't really take you serious till you actually start making progress, and that's just with a lot of people okay. in general. Okay. So people they might say they been fucking with you, but they not gonna fuck with you till you actually make it up. For sure. So that's just how it is. You got features with who? Uchi. I got Uchi, Fame, Re uh -huh. uh, Lil Reza. Okay. Um, I think I'm missing somebody, but them three, okay. the top three. For sure, for sure. So how does that go? You just reach out to them and they hear your music and they, you know, whatever. Like, how, how does it go? You know. Well, me and Fame Rick, we went to the same studio. Okay. Lil Reza, I reached out to him. Also had Will, the rapper. Okay. Uh, we used to go to school together, and Uchi, I uh, reached out to him also. Mm -hmm. So I was just, I was just trying to network to okay. try to help my name get out there by being with other people who's already established, okay. and you know, just linking up with them. You you you're enhancing you know my knowledge on young rappers you know it's a lot of I, I say 21 and up is where I'm at you 18 you know you got 17 16 year olds give me your competition and and, and, and or, or the rappers in your age bracket that you respect right now like we need to know who they are competition as far as locally I would just say uh, we got Will the rapper Swipey mm -hmm. HD Mikey you know the whole HD Mafia mm -hmm. and then. Uh, that's pretty much who I see is competition, okay. direct competition. For sure, for sure. What you got coming up next is summertime, man. You just got out of school. You know, y'all get out a little late, you know. What's your, what's, what's your goals for being a young rapper and, you know, trying to make a name for yourself in the DMV? Well, right now, I'm just I'm just trying to make progress because up until this point, I, like I said, I ain't taking it serious. Mm -hmm. So, so far this summer, I've been doing stuff like uh, I didn't recorded videos and then now I'm doing this interview, of course. Okay. Uh, New mixtape gonna be coming out, no handouts, then travel door two later this year. And then, you know, I'm just working. I try not to 
keep telling people I'm working because I'd rather my actions and the, the progress speak for um, instead of me just saying I'm working. Biggest song, biggest thing you've done thus far in your career. What, what do they know you for? I might go to Wise. You, you know what you know. What, what, what would they say? Uh, probably Travel Adore, the first mixtape, because people ain't really expect me mm -hmm. to be able to put a mixtape together like that. Okay. It was a, because it wasn't just like, because so many rappers now, in my opinion, locally, they want to rap uh, about trap things, okay. street things. What's the Trap or Adore? Travel Adore, what that means is in Spanish, it means hard working. Okay. So like I said, I'm, I was, I'm just trying to portray a different message, mm -hmm. a different vibe in the DMV. So okay. throughout the whole tape, it was different vibes. I, I have a song where I could talk about a girl, then I have a song where I'm talking about the generation, then I have a turn up type of song. For sure. Um, social media is crazy for the young people. Let them know where to follow you. Let them know what you talk about on there. Let them know what you promote on there. Let them let me know what's going on with social media in them high schools, man. Well, as far as social media, you can follow me at I am Jose Tony on Twitter and on uh, Instagram, Jose Tony MDG. Mm -hmm. But I feel as though social media is very powerful. It's a mm -hmm. great tool because, like, I was thinking about Biggie and all them and how they didn't have it. So I was wondering how did they, how did they get their message across? But I'm like, now I'm I'm really blessed to be in this generation because it's way easier. And as far as social media and fans, so many people I don't even know from different states mentioning me, telling me my music good. And what I am, I'm very humble, so I don't, I don't take that for granted. So on, on Twitter, you might see me just tweeting humble stuff or just tweeting I'm blessed or just tweeting music or whatever to, to help my career. For sure, for sure, man. Hey, you got 30 to 45 seconds to tell my fans, so your new fans, so YouTube, so social media, so everybody's going to watch this because we about to go ham. The stage is on you. Just let them know. Hey, what's up, man? It's Jose Tony. Follow me on Instagram at I am Jose Tony. Follow me, no, on Twitter at I am Jose Tony. On uh, Instagram, Jose Tony MDG. Uh, look forward to that no handouts mixtape coming, maybe about August. And then in December or November, Travel Door 2 going to be here. Uh, go get Travel Door, the first one, and Paul Bear on Spinrilla. Uh, they doing numbers. You know, I'm just out here working. I'm trying to make a difference in the DMV. And I'm just, just continue to follow me, support me, and I guarantee you won't regret it.